Day. What's pop for you guys? So today I decided to come to you with a more natural look for prom. Yesterday I found I did a very smoky eye, but it was kind of natural to me. Today I went with lighter colors. For all my girls who aren't ready to step into those browns and blacks, I was going to go with just a gold shimmery look. Um, if you guys want to see that before prom, please comment below and let me know. If not, then I hope you guys love this look. Please stay tuned and you will see how I achieved it right now. Hey guys, so just like last time, I'm halfway through. Except for this time I didn't prime my top eye. In the last video, it looks like I had like, I don't even know, it just look crazy. So I'm going to prime it and just get to the look right away. I'm using the same Urban Decay uh, potion primer potion eyeshadow primer sorry and you don't need a lot I'm just gonna put that on my lid and then rub it in with my finger and that's gonna be that such a coarse texture to it and because I went with the one palette theme in my last video I figured let's just keep her moving so today I'm using the Carly Bible palette um, same thing there aren't colors um, labeled on this palette so I will just be pointing to what colors I'm using and with that said I am going to be jumping right in so the first color that I used was this middle color on the top row this color is so pretty to me I was going to do a gold look for you guys and last minute I changed my mind, but good thing I have a whole two weeks to do these prom looks with you guys. I'm going to continue blending in the color, the first color that I showed you guys on the palette to the top of my brow, just so it's not like so bam in your face. Next I'm going to go in with this color right here. So I'm going to darken the crease of my eye first and what that's going to do is outline the rest of my eye so I can have my solid lid shimmering, just glowing girl. Now I'm going to take just my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, it's a blending brush as well. I'm going to go in with the exact same color. I'm just going to be more precise as to where I'm putting it. It's okay if it falls on my eyelid because that is going to be covered anyways. So I'm just going to blend this out. You can see the how it's very harsh and sharp here. There's not really a transition between the two. So I'm just going to blend that in. And next I'm going to go in with my Quo Eye Smudger brush. It just has really short brush, uh, bristles. First I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. And that just ensures that it picks up the pigment because we are using a glitter. So next I'm going to use this pretty pink and fill in my lid. So I'm going to start placing the pigment at the bottom of my lid and then make my shape up and basically gonna look like the sky dome hello Toronto okay so that's that now that I have my sparkly lid I am just going to blend it in a little bit with the transitioning color above my lid I got my straight line that I wanted, but I don't want it to be a defined line. Next, I am going to highlight my under eye girl. You gotta get these eyes popping, just popping for prom. What? What is on my face, girl? What? I mean, I know. So I'm just going to highlight my under eye. 
you guys already know with this NARS creamy concealer this stuff is my holy grail if you're looking for a really good concealer and you don't mind spending the money this NARS radiant creamy concealer is where it's at you want to know why I'll tell you why because this stuff doesn't crease it doesn't cause any of those white lines that you sometimes see other people have um, underneath their eyes and that's simply from the buildup of your concealer so it might be that you just have too much on underneath your under eye or that that concealer just isn't for you don't settle ladies don't settle so after I finish blending it into my cheek and my nose, like you guys already know, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender. Um, you can dampen it with water. I prefer to dampen it with my Fix Plus. And I'm just going to blend that into my under eye and my nose, cheekbone area. And we gonna keep it moving. You guys seeing the look coming together? Okay. So because this look, I don't know, it's very like, I don't know, I just love this look. I'm going to blend these colors out. There is no stopping me as to where this line is going to end because I love it. Can I just say, doing all of these makeup tutorials is making me, or not makeup tutorials, but doing all of these prom tutorials is making me want to go to prom in the worst way. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to coat the bottom of my under eye. We're going to be using the two same exact colors. Well, I used to be cut before. Okay, well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be using this color right here and the glittery pink. So first I'm going to be going in with a darker color because I'm starting on the outside of my eye. And I'm going to connect the top lid color and my bottom under eye. So now that I've lined the bottom part of my eye with the purple, I'm going to once again smudge her out. Then I'm gonna go in with the exact same brush that I used prior, this one for the pink. I'm gonna coat my inner tear duct and just blend it in halfway. So that's the look you get before lashes. Well, before lashes. I was going to do a very dramatic look, but because I said I was going to do a natural and soft look as my second prom look, I decided to go with a more airy um, lash. I am again using Huda Lashes. This lash is the Samantha Lash. It's number seven. It's super cute. I love it. This is a good everyday lash for me. Yes, I said every day. No, I don't mean I wear these every day. But I would if I did my makeup every day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna coat my lashes with some lash glue. I'm starting to notice that the glitter on my lid is blending in a lot with the um, colors on top so I'm just gonna go in again with the darkest color that I used over top of the silver or the look silver on here but the pink and make that line more predominant again and kind of wash away that glitter I just discovered this um, artist on SoundCloud I also want a Facebook group that I follow. Um, it's called Black Artists Connect, I think. Uh, her name is Kiana. Uh, amazing! If you guys are into vocalists, which a lot of people aren't nowadays, definitely check her out. Please. She has redone so many of my favorite songs, even songs that I don't mess with, and just made them sound amazing. And then I go to listen to the original song, and it's just not the same. 
So I'm lining my eye with this Ramel London Scandal Eyes, and it's in the color, oh, it's waterproof. That's why it's so good. It's in the color Nude, which of course we all know, us color girls, isn't really nude for us. I can't, I find personally a white eye is like very, a white eyeliner is very bam in your face with my skin complexion. So the nude skin tone um, is a little kinder to me. Let's just put it that way. So I'm going to blend my top lash with my lashes. And if I do forget to say what I'm using, just check the description box below. All of the products that I use will definitely be there, along with the links for you guys to purchase them, if need be. I was originally going to leave my bottom lash just plain, but I quickly changed my mind after wearing this nude color. I was like, nope, that's not going to work for me. So I had to coat my lashes. And next I'm going to go in, I was really torn between this uh, Stilla Stay All Day Carmelo and the Kapow by ColourPop Colors for my lips. They're going to be like, oh my god girl, they're like the exact same color. In my world, they're very different. Actually, you know what? They do look very different. And now I'm like, hmm, which one do I want? Do you see the struggle? This is real. This one's talking to me. So we're going with Stella. We're going with Stella today. Uh, it's called Carmelo. This was a limited edition originally, and then they brought it back as, um, I don't know. A regular one yep. I think my only complaint about this Stilla um, liquid stay all day is that after it dries it is not like the texture just sucks balls it's really really bad but going on the brush they use the color bomb diggity if they could just fix the formula so that it doesn't freaking crack i'm sold like all day all damn day all day i don't know why my camera is focusing and unfocusing like that it's kind of driving me bonkers okay so i think i am all done you know i'm not feeling this lip there's something really off about it to me i don't know no i don't like it I'll be right back and change my lip. Okay, so I took that pink off and I'm going to mix together one of my two, my favorite combinations with MAC and that is Spirit and Fresh Brew. So it's going to give me a nude shine. And I feel like these two lipsticks all year round, like I'll just wear all year round they're just amazing I feel like this is way better so I changed from the so I changed from the Stella uh, Carmelo in case you missed that and I went with fresh brew by Mac and spirit by Mac those are I feel like they're just it's such a deadly combination this is my natural look for all of my girls who aren't as daring as my last look with my smoky eye I hope you guys like it it's very simple no winged eye shadow lashes and some glitter because you know you need that for prom girl so I hope you guys enjoyed this look I will see you in my next video which I'm going to try and get up by the end of this week my last look is going to be my dramatic look so if dramatic is not for you do not click the damn button you won't like it but you might you never know you might like it <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video toodles